She was a fairy. So we're going to recreate another set of nails using the nail candy book. So I've chosen these ones which are quite scary. They have everything on these including the kitchen sink by the look of it. So it is the flash of floral fingers in a Harajuku Mani. Kill them with cuteness. This frilly look is straight out of a Japanese street style. Again, it gives you your list of materials along with a step-by-step, -step, which I'm going to totally ignore and do my own thing anyway, because these are just scary. Of course, I'm breaking out the hand dolly and we're just going to be working with gel. So step one is start by painting your nails with a pastel pink polish over your dry base coat and then let them dry. Of course, I'll be using my cure lamp and we're going to go in with Peach Melba from the gel box. I will link and leave a discount code if you choose to use so. Just giving it a thin cover and then I'm going to cure before moving on to step two. So step two reads, add a darker pink, a white, a tan polish to a piece of aluminium foil. Pick up dabs of these colours using a cosmetic sponge and splotch them onto your nails. Let this dry and then add glitter polish to your foil and then sponge on a few sparkles. So I'm going to go in with a dark pink, a tan and a white and I'm going to mix up my own glitter polish. So this is from Make Believe by Andrea, it is in Glitter Mix Nyla and it's a super fine extra sparkly glitter mix. So I'm just going to drop some onto the palette and mix it in with a little bit of top coat just to create that sparkle glitter polish. So instead of using a sponge I'm going to go in with a micro silicone tool also available from Make Believe by Andrea. And I'm just going to splodge those three gels across the nail, creating a soft marble effect. Just splodging it about knocking the camera ball on there and then using a dotting tool I'm just going to swirl them together to create a marble effect and once I'm happy I will pop it in the lamp give it a quick cure and then going in with a 4mm liner brush I'm just going to pick up some of that glitter mix and pop it onto the nails just randomly so step 3 advises us to lay out the embellishments on a flat surface then goes on to say this will speed up the application along with a list of things that we can use but before that I'm just going to seal the nails with some top coat because if you're going to cover them in embellishments it's going to make things easier afterwards rather than trying to top coat around them that's how it makes logic in my head anyway so that's what I'm going to do now step four is telling us to use top coat as glue it's advising us to coat the nail in top coat, pop a bit of top coat on the dotting tool and then we can pick up our embellishments and place them and the top coat will glue them down. I'm going to ignore that, grab my wax pencil, also from Make Believe by Andrea. I've got some random little embellishments here, pearls and bows and then I've got my bits here 
that I'm going to use. So I've got some diamond chain. This one's in silver. These are fab. They're also available in gold from Make Believe by Andrea. As you can see, they're on a length and you just cut them down to size. And look how sparkly that is. So pretty. I've grabbed some silver caviar beads, also from Make Believe by Andrea, some random flowers and some bits that aren't quite on the website yet. But ignoring the book, I'm going to go in with a thin coat of clear builder to adhere my embellishments. So I've just gone over lightly, placing some clear builder and I'm just dropping the chain cut down to length that I'm going to use. Just pushing it down, making sure it's kind of central. As you can see, it's so sparkly. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna give that a quick flash cure, just to make sure it stays in place. All the stuff I make believe by Andrea. I do have a discount code for. Again, I'm gonna drop the link for the discount code as well. And then moving on to the second nail, I'm just going to do a few little pearls just to create a cuff and then go in with a white bow. Just pop that kind of central in that nail. And then a couple of silver caviar bees just in between the pearls before I flash cure it. And onto the ring finger, I'll be placing a little rose with some secret unreleased things, as you can see. Again, flash curing just to make sure they stay in place. These, of course, will go in for a full cure afterwards. And on the final nail, I've popped a flat back pearl and I'm just going to go around the side of that with some silver caviar beads. Step five is telling us to repeat this process again. I'm not going to do that. There's not enough area, space, nail to put any more. We can also paint over some of the embellishments as well. I'm not going to do that step either. My head is screaming at me, telling me to take some off already. I can't put any more on. And step six is telling us to coat everything in top coat because we can keep it forever if we do that. <laughs> 